to a large extent, human beings mimic each other. Even in the business, we copy each other. If the business owners set a standard around behaviour or set a standard around a value, and as an example, um, you know, you could walk into your business every day in a good mood, or you could walk into your business every day in a bad mood. Now, if you choose the latter, what you're saying to employees is that it's okay for you to walk into the business in a bad mood anytime you choose to, because I as a leader or I as a manager in this, in this team do that. So people lead by example. We follow, we follow our leaders. It's, it's been like that since we lived in caves. Hi, Doreen. Hi, Jane. I was just wanting to see how things are going. Oh, not too bad. I've got to catch up with Bill today. Yeah. Many managers are feeling very squashed and often in that circumstance it's very difficult for them to relax themselves enough to spend time creating the right environment for the relationships we need to build. So I do think there's an important amount of work in developing managers to look after themselves. If you fit and your mind is fit and you're healthy, I think any problem that you come across in the day in your business, you will be able to overcome. My name's Glenice Johnson. I'm the Managing Director of Peregrine and Geckos. Definitely the way I stay fit and healthy is the walking. So I walk to work, I walk home. I would like to think in some ways that I switch off on the way to work, but in fact it gets me fired up and fired up in a, in a really great way. I start thinking about the day ahead, I start thinking about what happened the day before, I start thinking about different things that just pop into my mind that need to be attended to. So I usually make a, a couple of phone calls to myself actually and, and then send myself a couple of reminders. Uh, the communication.